Hi everybody, welcome back to Big Oi Golf and we are still at the Kendallshire in Bristol. Fantastic course and they have an amazing short game and practice area here. Love it to bits, really do. If I lived in Bristol I'd just become a member here straight away. Um, we'll be off to coming down here quite a lot and fairly regularly to do with the Buccaneers setup. We're here today with Nigel Barr and the Buccaneers is having a few lessons with Emma Brown. Emma Brown, PJ Pro, who's one of the pros here and now one of the resident pros on the channel. So we just had a little uh, few tips on Nigel's short game. Now we're going to do some putting. Let's go and take a look. If we put, we'll do some, if you put all three here then. So is it always left? Not always left, occasionally there's a push. Lovely. Very occasionally. So. <laughs> well, this look forward to so again, before we start, Nigel is still a new, uh, literally a new student to you. You've yeah. only just done a few bits of short game with him. Yeah. So this is more of a, an assessment video as opposed to perfecting anything specific. Yeah, it was just, it, just a couple of pointers really, I think. So I just uh, asked Nigel what golf ball he uses to make sure he uses the same golf ball. Are they orange? They've got orange dots on. I do what think there's a orange slight obsession market. with orange. <laughs> um, you noticed. <laughs> so I think it's just making sure, he, again, he's practicing properly practicing better and using the same golf balls when he's like doing short game instead of just a random selection okay so, so he's gonna go do some practice putts and obviously i'm just gonna take a look we'll show the putts anyway so do you see this dead straight or are we just aiming um i, I see it going slightly left okay just slightly That's where I'm going to hit it anyway. Slightly left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm telling myself it's, uh, it's going to break that way slightly and I still don't aim far enough out. And distance control. Do you hit it usually long or short or short? Most of the time short. Um, yeah. Okay. And that's that's the problem. If I've put myself on the green where I'm miles away, yeah. I then hit a bad first putt. And then it's a three putt before you know it. So. Right, if we get can we wrap those up again? Yeah. And then I'll just show you a little video. So from what I know from Nigel, like I said, he, he hits the ball short. Again it's a bit of a lack of confidence thing, I think. Um, and then ends up so short, he then two putts, what yeah. would be a normal standard length, two putt shot, really. Yeah. So if you think from here, this is uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen-ish feet. Fifteen feet. Yeah. So the stats say tour players hold approximately twenty-three percent of these. Okay. Yeah. So that sometimes helps people because the expectation then of I need to be holding them all yeah. goes a little bit. I think, I think my expectation is getting close enough to tap it in. <laughs> That's lovely. Right, okay, so if you could kind of just do exactly what you were just doing before. Oh, it's alright, no, what's the problem? Take those. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'd want my own yeah, culture, every time. they look pretty good to me. So if you watch, this is all, I've videoed all three of them for you, okay? Hands turn over, mm. yeah. Well that's okay, but you kind of knew that, so that's fine. So while they're just going through this little bit, which obviously most people would get on a lesson, you get them so videoed and then one. Emma would discuss them, or your pro would discuss the details with you. Uh, Nigel is a 17 handicap. Uh, hits the ball really well, long shots, so but he struggles with his putting in his short game. Position. Yeah. So sometimes your ball was actually slightly closer, cl slightly further back than centre. Further back than mm. centre, right. Okay. So then it, it produces so this kind of like arm position. Yeah. So you've got to think of your, if your putting strokes a slight arc and your ball position is too far back, the putter arc wants to send it to the right. Okay. So yeah. then what happens is we 
kind of visually then have to change that and that's where your hands get involved. Flick it. Yeah. yeah. So I would say for you at the moment we've got to get the more the ball more central or slightly forward, yep. which is gonna weird you out because you don't want it to go left, so you're but you're kind of battling that. Okay. But we have got to get that putter face not moving around as much because at the moment it is literally just flipping so yeah, much. Yeah. You, your distance control is going to be really different as well. So if we get those three wrapped up again, fab. Okay. <laughs> so if you can, we're going to have the ball slightly forward in your setup. Okay. Okay, so right, so you're so, literally going to feel this is forward of centre. So you're going to really feel visually okay. horrible. So if I if I put the club down, and yep. then if I take the biggest step, wonderful, back like that. Right, so don't worry about the target. Your your ball has got to start through this gate. Okay. So I don't care what happens. I just need that that ball to start through this gate. Okay. So we're going to just do a couple of those. So same setup with your ball position through the gate. That's better. Right. So what do you think this gate does? And um, focuses you on the line that you hit in the putt and gets you to take the putter head through as well. Exactly. So we had to do it with this setup because where your ball position was, it was so far back on some of them. You were going to literally hit everything right, so yeah. your hands and eye coordination. You want to get it back online, but it just moves it way too much. Okay, so through that gate. Through that gate. Butter head. Yeah. That looks better. Yeah, I mean that that feels sensible in terms of what I'm doing. I'm also a little bit. I move my hands about a little bit. I don't have a consistent. Sometimes I find my right hand is slightly lower. Yeah. I have tried the two thumb. Yeah. Kind of, kind of overlapping, but it's nothing consistent. I think we, just, if we need to make sure gripping down the club for you might be a little bit more helpful. Okay. Um, but I think that's that's the thing that we just need to try and find something that stops the, the club face from moving too much. In terms of pressure, where do you feel your hand? Your pressure are in your hands? The pressure at the back. These fingers on the back of the. Okay. So in your left and your right hand, or just one uh, hand? Mainly right hand. Okay. Yeah. So on this next one, through the gate, but I want you to feel that the most of the pressure is in your top hand. Top so hand. there is, so there's really little pressure in your right hand through the gate. Okay. That felt very weird. It did. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just, we've got to find something and we're just going to kind of keep chucking stuff at you for something to, to fit. Okay. But I think this gate looks quite good. Your putter doesn't look like it's moving around as much. See, it's holding its line better. Yeah. Because the strike on the ball is... Uh... Yeah. But I think because your ball's more forward, yeah. your putter face isn't having to do as much. So then what we'd do, the next stage would be to kind of make the gate a tiny bit smaller and you make it so small that it, the ball can just fit through it. Right, so we go any further. Yeah. What's been happening with Nigel? What do you think we need to do? Uh, so set up, some t a lot of the time it is something set up that causes the problem. So something really small. So Nigel's ball position was too far back. Okay. Um, which then meant he was going to push everything. So his brain or whatever has done something and it's closed it down yep. so that's why the cliff face closing so quickly everything's going left going left yeah yeah and then by doing that we've kind of lost all confidence with speed and distance control and then so again it's a bit like the short game it's about that setup is the first the most important thing get your setup right get your setup right that, I mean, that's the biggie i keep i keep saying biggie as well because you're here just <laughs> but i always say absolutely <laughs> a lot having a find out don't like, geez, i say that quite a lot but um i think we underestimate in every form setup. I think we always think it's got to be something big, it's always got to be something, oh, it's this or this or this. And your setup has caused the two problems that we've talked today that yeah. could have been quite straightforward to set up or to fix over a video or a photo. Okay? I've never taken practice wings or practice make a difference. Uh, Is it worth I uh, think 
if you're going to do them it's the whole like why do we do them mm. so i i won't lie i did them because i watched a lot of golf as a kid and i thought everyone else does them so it became my habit um yeah. i just do it if for me per, personally it's more like a warm-up thing just to keep moving um i don't do it with my putt and stroke anymore because yeah you know if you've got a a pile of rubbish in your hand and you go throw it in a bin you don't have a like little practice going in. <laughs> so yeah it's it's a very personal preference what works for you okay we'll okay. set up and get the set up right yeah so ball position can you get that ball through the gate yes you can so if we can get it through that start gate the ball stays online runs better distance controls easier to judge Versus okay. it starts left, spins weirdly. I've got to. Okay. I've got that putting mirror and gate that's still in the box. So the the mirrors mirrors okay, but just the gate is the biggie. Yeah. Okay. You've got to really make sure you've got to get that putter face aiming where we want it to go. Right. So I'm going to take these away now. We're going to imagine that gate is there. Okay. So set up, get that pat of face going through that gate. Felt like it was a little bit. A little bit, flicky. but not that far off. So this one has, we cannot, if this was your last putt ever today, you are not allowed to finish the ball this side of the hole. Okay? <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. your challenge for today. give you an electric shock if you do. <laughs> get an electric shock right. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. it's still not I, bad. So that's you can get a little zapper, get a yeah, little cattle prod. <laughs> cattle prod would work, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's make this the last putt of the day. I'd rather see that because it just stays online, doesn't move. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you can literally aim wherever you need to versus you've got a, you've got a club face that closes and yeah. you've got different slopes, so you have to think of way too many things. Yeah, I mean, that, that felt slightly like a push, but... It's going to feel yeah. very pushy Sorry. at the moment yeah. because you're, you're almost like feeling that the putter face stays open, so yeah. you're really going to feel this motion, but your club face was closing so much. Anything holding that club face open is going to feel push you that way yeah? yeah thank you so pointers for this for you again if you so if i walked away from this now what are you working on with your putting to set up initially so uh, i mean the way that i've tried before but i've never been consistent is put the put the putter face down against the ball middle of the stance and then take a bigger step back with this foot than this one so that that will bring it into the more forward in the stance and um, again posture for me is a thing I need, I need to get myself and i need to try and keep the pat head moving same plane through so as the ball goes through the gates effectively cool now if you notice we moved the ball position forward which should really in theory have made it gone further left yep. and if you notice it didn't no because your putting stroke got better as we did it rather than flicking it over yeah, yeah. okay okay that's really so useful. To, to round that up, Hammer, as, yep. as you're the expert here, um, what have we done? So we changed setup. We've just made it repeatable. Whereas before, ball position too far back, we just meant that we had to just cure faults with faults. So we just got rid of the original, I don't want to call it a fault, but original <laughs> thing, <laughs> flick. <laughs> um, and so he doesn't need to move his putter now. That's, I think that's the, the problem, was that the putter was moving way too much judging any form of line was always going to be hard especially if there was a slope involved because obviously you know, i know from putting everyone knows from putting you're, you're apart from the line there's also a distance thing going on but if he's struggling completely with line all the time yeah then he's got there's just so many variables again already mm -hmm. if you get that one 
set first, then you can deal with the distance issues another time. Yeah, well, you were saying that you changed setup pretty much quite a lot of times, didn't you, as well? Hands and yeah. I think you're a tinker, yeah. aren't tinker. you? You tinker around yeah. with different <laughs> bits. The yeah, you works, so I'll try something <laughs> yeah. else. And then you'll, you'll, you'll get one and you'll be like, got it nailed. And then you end up like this, yeah. you're like, this looks really good. But I think that's the, the problem is the tinkering, because you just don't know what works and what doesn't. Uh, so, I would good. say without without realizing what's going on here properly, I'm no expert. Stop tinkering. Stop, stop tinkering. Yep. Stop yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trust the basic advice you've just been given. Yep. And even if it goes wrong for a while, mm -hmm. go back to thinking about it and doing that same thing. Wow. Repetition, repetition. I'll, yeah. I'll definitely with that. That's practice. the big oggy advice I can give you for Love the day that. from my handicap. <laughs> mate. Never listen to my handicap <laughs> either. All right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll practice the setup and I may actually get the putting gates out as well, which I think. Well, you, you uh, sort of. Yeah. yeah, so a everyone's of got something. Nice like, colour, by the way. I orange know. ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Got some you more in my bag. <laughs> but everyone's got these. Everyone's got other golf balls or something that you can make a mini gate to go through. Yeah, you don't need to buy a fancy set of yeah, equipment. Just, I mean, not that expensive, but you don't need yeah, that. You can just a couple of tees. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I've got a couple of boxes of the bamboo tees. No, I thought but you, you were know, paint them orange. Colour them in with my yeah. sharpie. <laughs> Your 85 orange sharpies. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Nigel. Hope you've got a little bit of advice from that. Yeah, really useful. Work on it and we'll see it improve over time in, on the channel. Thank you very much, Emma. Absolute pleasure. Okay, we're just what we're doing on the channel, we're just giving you little simple bits of advice. Nothing too complicated. Just introducing Emma into the channel. And obviously, we'll have lots of different players who will be getting lessons from her including me and uh, Simon and some other people, different different levels, different personal advice for each person. So obviously watch, take hints and things from this, but like I said, get yourself a, a pro, get some proper lessons, yeah. wherever you are in the country. Yeah. Okay? Brilliant. It's important. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Oh, just, just do what you want, but come back and watch us, okay? Because we're just loving doing this for you. Yeah. Bye for now, everyone. Speak Thanks, soon. Thanks, Emma. Thanks, Bye -bye. John. Thanks, Nigel.